welcome to Steve McDonald Crafting and today what I'm going to be doing is rock painting. Now I'm going to be making some little rock for putting into plants so people know what sort of plants they are. We've got some plants, we've got some sage, some parsley, some basil and some chives and I just want to have a nice little label to go with them. I've already cut out the vinyl stickers in gold and these are going to go onto my little rocks. Before I do that, I'm going to paint the back or one side of the actual rock itself. I don't want to paint it all in just a normal way. I want to kind of paint it so the it's a background but with still the rock showing around the outside. That one I'm going to do it like that. Like that on that one. Because I want to be able to still see the actual rock. And I've chosen this blue colour because I think they will really show off the gold lettering. And I've cleaned all these first to make sure there's no dust or anything on them. And I've cleaned them. All I did was I used a baby wipe to clean them. I'm just going to go up to my little line with the paint and make that as solid as possible. Now, these are going to be used on plants in the inside in the kitchen and if I was going to use them on the outside for in the garden then I would seal them slightly differently but I'll talk about that when I come to seal them. You don't need to put a block of colour on you could quite easily do a picture of a, whatever plant it is that you're going to have on here. So if it was sage you could paint a little picture of sage. This is just a quick little project really because I got these little stones and rocks and I really wanted to do something with them. So I'm just going to go round and I'm going to finish painting off all my colours so that they're nice and solid like that. These are all nice and dry now so what I'm doing is I'm just going around the outside with this metallic pen just to really give it a, a, a different finish. I quite like the way that that's coming out. And these metallic pens go really well, hoping that they'll be fine with the varnish, but we're going to find that out in a minute. And I've gone round once, let that dry and soak into the stone, and then I've gone round a second time just to give it that extra depth and thickness of colour. There we go. So as you can see, you can see the slight difference in the two. So now, once that's in there, it doesn't take many seconds to dry. I'm just going round it. Again, to give it its really nice, like glowy look to it. Leaving that to dry, then I'll do the next stage. Well, I've weeded these now, so I've got the foil that's ready. So all I need to do is to transfer them over. I've made the decision on which ones I'm going to put each of the actual words on. So it should be fairly simple just to put these over onto here. But there we go. So I've got that one transferred over. So all I need to do now is get it into this. And I don't mind if it's not in the middle or anything like that. I'm not precious. You know me. I'm an eyeballer for anything. Uh, let's hope that that doesn't take the paint up. That transfer tape. No, that hasn't. So there we go. We've got sage written on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll get the rest of them done. And then I'll show you how I'm going to seal this on there and make them all nice and shiny. Well, I've got the words now attached to it. Basil, chives, sage and parsley. And what I want to do is seal these on so that they're not likely to peel off or come off. And I'm going to use a gloss varnish because I want the stones to be nice and glossy as well and now this is an interior varnish if i was going to put these outside then i would use an exterior varnish but this interior varnish gr gr grows dries really really quickly and gives a lovely gloss finish and that will help to seal in paint and the letters and make these last for a nice long time. You'll probably need two coats because it'll absorb into these stones quite quickly. And I'm going to do both the back and the front as well of the stone. So just not just the front because I want the stones to look nice and glossy. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what they look like when they're all dry. Well, these have come out now and they're all dry and all finished and they're nice and glossy. I think they've come out really, really cute. It's just a simple project, you know, you get some rocks from the 
from the beach or any out your garden and you can just turn them into these really cute shiny little markers for your plants. Now that metallic pen I used did bleed a little bit on this one but not too bad but I would look for something that perhaps wasn't as soluble as that. Maybe some var nail varnish or something like that would look good going around these. But I'll try out a few more things. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. I hope you like them as much as I like them. I think they're just damn cool. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please boot that like button because it really helps my videos to get out there. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you for any of my videos. Every coffee really does help. It's much appreciated. And gets you on my coffee board for next month. Take care. Enjoy your crafting. Bye.